at Helix Charter High School are getting a bite of reality when it comes to money. They are enhancing their education thanks to Cal Coast Credit Union. Let's see what the program is all about. Will, this program looks so cool. It is called Bite of Reality. What exactly is Bite of Reality? Well, Bite of Reality is a fun interactive uh, workshop where teens can go and give them a profile. They get a fictional occupation, a salary, a spouse and kids, and they have to go to eight tables where they have to buy transportation, housing, and uh, other, other needs. And what they'll do is they have, to, they have to determine whether or not they can do this within their budget. I would consider this essential for both kids and adults, but surprisingly, California schools don't require financial literacy education, so it's amazing that you can provide this. Absolutely. In fact, um, only 17 states in the United States uh, require it as a requirement to graduate. In California, that's uh, not a requirement, so that's where we come into the schools and we're able to provide this absolutely free. I learned that some things cost a lot more than I thought they would. Especially since this is supposed to be like a monthly budget, uh, I didn't realize that like groceries and childcare cost as, as much as they did. Um, but I was kind of surprised to see that cars and houses costed a lot less than I would I think, I guess, monthly. I love that these vendors are upperclassmen because they really are trying to upsell these younger students, but that's something we face every day. We have to learn to have self-discipline. Yes. Um, it, and they love it because one of my students right now is literally talking about, no, I'm gonna convince them to buy a Hellcat or a Porsche or um, all of these things that they really probably don't need or can't afford, but um, to kind of get them to realize how expensive things are and then how to bring down their. See, you go to another dealership, you're not gonna get a deal like this. You come through us, we got you the hookup. See, I know you're debating it, but see, trust me, this is an investment for the future. You gonna stay with the Hellcat? All right, pleasure doing business. Hey, pleasure doing business. Some of the people here are very good at selling and they uh, let her buy like two sports cars and um, she got in debt pretty quickly. <laughs> a lot of people wanted to buy boats and all the nice cars and everything and everybody was surprised because they were being onto debt like really quick. Talking with kids, I was wondering where they fell into problems. When they started to rack up debt, many of them said they were attracted to the cars. What kind of feedback do you get from kids after they visit each station? Well, it's actually funny because, you know, they're given an, uh, an occupation and a spouse. Uh, they'll oftentimes select the uh, luxury car for themselves and a bus pass for their uh, spouses. <laughs> Or you guys share a car. I don't know how the game works. Another cool element of the program is once a child ended up racking up debt, they could go visit Cal Coast Credit Union. You had representatives there who would help them get out of that financial hole. What kind of feedback do you get from the kids when they're getting that coaching from a professional? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, when they go through all the tables and they come back and they're over budget, then we as the credit union table, we we uh, work with them as far as where their expenses are and where can they minimize and reevaluate those expenses. We take a look at the chart and see where the majority of their expenses are. Typically it's housing or transportation. Um, we suggest that maybe they reevaluate those expenses and maybe not get the luxury car, but get the uh, family sedan. Uh, maybe not get the mansion, but get the uh, single family home. We're gonna pay that $18 right now. So you still have uh, seven more purchases to go, so you're just gonna walk around and hit those tables up to get your housing and car and stuff. It has to be so rewarding to see them walk away feeling a little bit better armed for their futures. I think the more we can give students opportunities to practice what we preach and to actually do the things that we're expecting them to walk out of this campus being able to do, we have a set of school-wide learner outcomes that all students are expected to achieve. And one is to be an involved citizen and one is to be a self-directed learner. And this is literally giving those experiences. How do I involve in my community and how do I make choices by myself to you know, practice what I've been taught to do and they're actually doing it. Cal Coast is here every year. They show up, they're on time, they're part of our community and students get to kind of create some positive associations with these credit unions that they may be here uh, worries about in, in society and it's totally debunked and they learn what it is and how they operate and we love that.